What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So here I have my uh, my Lexus GS F Sport. So I just put the factory wheels back on for the winter time. It's actually December 14th. So it actually looks pretty good. I was used to having the black wheels on it. I like the way it looks, but these wheels look nice too. So it's nice to mix it up. But the reason for this video is uh, I have to program my sensors. So the factory sensors have to pro program back to the car. So I picked this up a couple months ago. It's a Maxi TPMS. So it's the TS508WF, which is the Wi-Fi version. So I picked this up a couple of months ago, um, actually when I bought my other wheels, so I can actually swap it over. And uh, it's actually really easy to use. So all I got to do is go to advanced mode right here, all right, select, select yes, I already have it set for my car, which is the Lexus, yes, the GS, yes, and uh, that's actually number one, 3.5 megahertz, again, yes. So what I want to do, I want to actually program Right there, position relearn. Hold on a second. So I want to do position relearn. So number three. Yes again. OBD. OBD relearn number one. Yes again. Okay. So that's it, guys. Now it's going to ask me to do all the pressure. So I got to go to the car, obviously. Right here, there's the first one. Press the scan button. Yep, here it is, first one. Go to the passenger side, scan it. There it is, second one. Third one. All set. Then the driver's side. There we are. All set. So now it actually wants to do a spare tire. So I don't have a spare tire that has a TPMS. So I just usually scan it and then shut it off. And hit the cancel action. And that's it. So that's it. So now it's all set. It says please connect the OBD2. And turn the ignition on. So let's get in the car. Let me connect this. Let me put you on hold for a second. Okay. So I connected it. So now it says turn the ignition on. So I turn the ignition on. Right there. off shut off the air condition okay All right. please connect and then hit yes to continue right there communicating with the vehicle please wait so Turn off my lights. All right, so it's saying it's right in sensors ECU. Oh, and we can see it's flashing right there. Let me, oh. oh, that was actually really quick. So you can see here. So it said the IDs are successful. All right, hit OK. That's actually the yes. And communicating with the vehicle. Yeah, DTs. Okay, so it says it's all done. Hit okay. 
All right. It's actually, yep, no codes. So it's all set. Yep. Enter, exit. All right there. So switch off the ignition. Test driver by above 19 miles an hour for at least 10 minutes. And uh, that's it. Is it okay? All right. So we shut this. Turn it back on. Let me see. I think that usually comes right on. Let's see if it programmed. Let me close the door here. That's it, it's there, as you can see. That's it guys, pretty simple, pretty easy. Nice handy tool to have. I actually picked this up on uh, on eBay, brand new. Like I said, a couple of months back, it was definitely at the beginning of this year. I picked it up for $115. Um, it was actually, the Wi-Fi version was $115 and the regular version was $99. Uh, it did not come with the sensors. It was just a tool with the USB and the, and the case. Um, I'll link the video to that below. Well, that's it, guys. Very simple. As you can see, you know, it takes like five minutes to do. Uh, save yourself some time. Save yourself some money. You buy one of these. You don't have to go to the dealer every time, you know, and, and probably spend $100, $150 at the dealer for them to program your wheels. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.